Here in Sanders County, hiring and retaining teachers is not a big problem for school districts like Plains and Thompson Falls. Both schools are instead focused on making a positive impact on students going into the new school year. Over the summer, a major change occurred in the leadership of the Plains School District after Tom Kism retired as superintendent. We have a new superintendent and uh, the previous superintendent had been here for 13 years. So that's really new. You know, that's very new for, there's a lot of folks here that have never experienced uh, working at Plains School other than for uh, the previous superintendent. You know, I, I expect to learn just as much as I share. Dr. Kathleen Mulsh moved to Western Montana because her husband Dennis originally grew up in the area, and she promised they'd return if given the chance. I once said, well, if there's ever a job for me, then maybe we could come back. Never thinking that I'd be fortunate enough to get this job or have this job. Bringing over 30 years of experience as an administrator at public and private schools in New York to Plains, Walsh hopes to make a positive impact on students for years to come. I didn't come here to make it in New York. I came to, you know, to, to learn and live in Montana. I'm here for the children. I'm here for their betterment. And that's what I'm going to work on. And I want the students to look at this as a hub of opportunity for themselves. At the Thompson Falls School District, they are not dealing with staffing shortages like other schools across western Montana. We have a great mix of teachers, teachers who have come uh, from out of town, out of state, and have made this their home. Some married couples who are, are teachers and they raise their family here, and those are you know, some of our best teachers. The district is instead focused on building a new 7,000 square foot building that will include a commons and a workshop for career technical education classes. Currently the shop building is underneath the gym here. Uh, we're going to turn that facility into a, a new uh, weight, uh, weight room fitness facility and uh, expand that because the, we've got a lot of kids who are interested in, in staying healthy and, and doing weights and fitness and um, a lot of our coaches have their athletes in there all the time, all summer long and uh, we've kind of outgrown that space. The expansion will also allow the district to have better seating arrangements for students during lunch. We currently we let kids leave, leave campus for lunch. But, you know, it's, it's kind of a, a rush, rush, rush thing for them, and we're hoping that more kids will, will eat on campus if they have a nicer space to eat in. The project is expected to be complete before students depart for Christmas break on December 22nd. In Sanders County, Andy Meppham, MTN News.